Okay, I'm doing an energy update um, so far. Since my last video, I've been doing a bit more research and I've found quite a bit of stuff in um, plasma technology. I seem to find the more I research plasma, the more I find solutions for uh, future energy use. Um, I was researching on the net today and I found that they can use turn municipal waste into um, fertilizer and useful um, chemical byproducts as well as generate electricity and um, <clears throat> by way of they use the plasma and they put it in and they make this gas out of it and they use gas to drive a turbine and it generates electricity that way and I also found another thing called the Cash Foundation which is um, well I'm not too sure if it's dubious or not but he's a nuclear physicist and he comes from Iran he's staying in Belgium at the moment and he seems to think he's got a plasma engine that will um, you know maybe <laughs> take us into space so um, <clears throat> as apart from that I've been uh, researching um, plasma electrolysis by um, the um, University of Japan, Mr. Yuzunara Ko, I'm not too sure how to say it, it's Japanese, but anyway, Tadazi Muzano or Muzano or whatever his name is, um, he did some really good research there in Japan, Hokkaido University, um, he I found anomalous heat and with plasma electrolysis and creating fusion byproducts as well. This was um, all well documented and um, produced anomalous um, excess hydrogen in 80 times that of what was calculated with Faraday's law and as well as thermal, thermal um, energy as well. So. Um, yeah, that's me for now. Anyway, I give, thought I'd give you a bit of an update and I'll give you another one later on. <laughs> okay.